an arithmetic series has term one is three and d is negative four. If you wanted to draw that out, that's what it would look like. Term one is three, d is negative four, so that means you're subtracting four each time. We want to add up the first 25. So when they say determine S25, you have to know from notation that the S stands for sum and the 25 stands for the first 25 of them. So we're adding up the first 25 of them. Do we know TN? No. So in this one, we would go to our formula sheet and say, I'd like to use this formula. What do I want to find? The sum of the first 25 of them. So can I plug in everything that I know? I know that n is 25. I know that term 1 is 3. I know that d is negative 4. One thing that you might notice here, when I plug in a number into a formula, I put it in brackets. Brackets are helpful to hold negatives because we're going to be adding a negative. Right? Brackets here also means that this is 2 times 3. Now we have to do order of operations, or you could probably type this whole thing exactly as you see it into your calculator and push enter. So you will need Make sure that you have a calculator for this course. Either some of you have graphing calculators already, that's great, or others of you will get a scientific calculator. If you have a scientific calculator that lets you see what you're writing in, and the one that you can buy from the school does that, it makes life a lot easier. Anyways, if we do this mental math, order of operations, I'll do the brackets first. Here I'm going to get 6, negative 4, minus 24, minus 96, all divided by 2. Oh, wait, am I, check my mental math here. Is this right? Is that what it says at the bottom? Or am I off? Yes. So we get negative 11.25. So I wanted to show you the second one. Now you've seen both formulas. Sometimes you're going to use the formula if you know the last term. Sometimes you're going to use this formula if you don't know the last term. And what a lot of this unit is, is are you able to take numbers, plug them into formulas correctly, go through your order of operations, and just simplify things to get the correct answer. So questions for this one, number 5, 6, and 14. And I'll give you 